Last May, when Ash and Ben got married for the first time, it was a small ceremony in our front yard and not everyone could be there. It was different. This time, it's the real thing and we could finally see Ashley in her beautiful, gorgeous dress at the venue of her dreams, surrounded by a ton of loved ones. A couple of weeks ago, I was at a wedding, and the father of the bride was welcoming the groom into the family. As I thought about it, I realized that it's hard to remember a time when you weren't part of the family. So rather than welcome you into our family, I would like to thank you for welcoming Anne, myself, and my girls into your family. While we were inseparable for much of our youth, Ben and I are very different people. <laughs> Despite the stark differences between us, there is one thing we both agree on. Meeting Ashley was one of the single best things that has ever happened to him. Ashley compliments your free-spirited personality by encouraging you to reach for your goals while also keeping you grounded to reality when needed. You've never settled for anything less than your heart's desire which is abundantly apparent in the love you share with her. The amount of support and affection she affords you, even in the most challenging of times, can only be born from a place of true love. Ashley, from the moment I met you in a little place called Syracuse, you quickly became my best friend. After only two weeks of spending time with you, I told my closest friends that I thought you were the one. For your average college-age couple, it may have been the keystone talking, but we were different. Every moment has been something special, and I began to not feel like myself unless I was around you. A casual movie night, a day at the dog park, cooking dinner together. I will always look back on these moments and remember how lucky I am to have found you. We met during a time in my life where I felt so lost. For the hopeless romantic I am, I wasn't sure I believed in true love. But the first two weeks we were inseparable, I knew it existed. I knew you were the man I was going to marry during our first Easter together. Watching you fit right in with my family made my heart melt. Now after six years, we've been through graduate school, career changes, and moving every year. But you've been my best friend the whole time and biggest supporter. You've taught me to always pursue what makes me happy, and you've never put judgment on my faults. You wear your heart on your sleeve, and you pull me out of my shell. I promise first and foremost that I will always love you and put you and our family before anything else. I vow to support you in all your dreams and aspirations, just as you stood by with all of mine. I vow to be by your side through everything life has to offer, and to protect you and comfort you forever and always until death do us part. I love you for so many reasons. I love how honest, respectful, and silly you are. I love how you care for Rosie. It makes my heart burst knowing how much you will love our children one day. For all those reasons, I want to make you a couple promises. I promise that as your wife, I will not keep score, even though I know I'm winning. I promise I'll try not to watch the next episode without you. For the rest of our lives, I vow to support you in your dreams and ambitions. I vow to encourage and inspire you in good times and bad. I vow to love you and be your biggest fan and partner in crime. You're my husband, you're my best friend, my one true love, and I promise in front of our friends, family, and God that I will be faithful and a loving wife to you. I love you with all my heart. Power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Get her done. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>